everybody welcome back to my channel so in today's video i thought somebody was coming i thought i would do um uh like kind of crochet with me type of video this video will be in a span of like multiple days maybe a week and i just finished making a bag for one of my restocks that's coming up for my spring slash um summer restock and i just finished this bag right here which the video about this bag should be up already, so you guys can check that out. And I kind of had this bag made already for my spring restock, and I love this bag so much. Like, I love it so much. So I was looking at this, and then I recently went to Goodwill, and I bought this bag, which was like 99 cents. And I'm like, I just got some inspiration because of this sunflower bag and this. So I was thinking I would kind of do a repeat of this bag, but make the border color this blue and i don't have all my yarn colors with me right now because i'm at my mom's house and kind of go back and forth between my mom and my dad's house so i have some yarn in this suitcase that you guys cannot see but it's right here and i'm like let me go through and see if i have the right blue anyways because i really don't know if i do kind of just unzipped it and i didn't look because i don't remember i kind of just took some random colors and put it in there and if you guys don't know, this type of blue is like my favorite color. Um, blue in general is my favorite color, like light blues, you know, those kind of cute colors. So I decided I'm going to make a bag kind of resembling this one, but with blue. And it's a spring slash summer bag, so um, make it look fun. So, like I said, I really don't. This is perfect. Like, isn't this perfect? Or I can do this one. I don't know. I think I'm going to do this one. But I don't want to do this one because I like this color so much that I want to keep it. But I'm going to do this one. This one matches more. This one matches the most, right? Let's see. Yeah, I would say this one. And I already have white right here. Um, and for the circle part, I don't have a color exact to that. But I have this, which is pretty close. And I want to do one more color. So I'm looking at the sunflower back there, the bag back there. I'm trying to see how many colors I need. One, two, three, four. So I need four colors. Or I can just use um, one of these colors multiple times. So the white would be for the petals. This would be for the little circle part. And then this would be the main color of the bag. So I think I'm going to just go with the three colors. So we're going to go with these three, okay? Okay, so since I have my colors now, which is this brown kind of yarn from Big Twist, which I got from Joann's. This one, I believe, is also from Joann's. From the texture, I don't really know which brand this is, but I'm, it's giving Red Hearts yarn, you know, the texture. And this one is definitely Big Twist, and I have the tag in here to remind me. Um, and then I need a hook. So I think I'm going to use a 4.5 millimeter hook. And since I'm going to be using three colors instead of four, um, the inner part will be this color right here. Petals will be white. So I'm trying to remember how I did those inner rows. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So there's 16 puffs. 15, 14, 15, 16. So it was 16 again. So I'm just going to guess, I guess I'm just going to start by making a magic ring and then put 16 double crochets. That's what those look like. And I kind of looked at a looked at a pattern online for the bag. So that's pretty much how I made the bag. If I find that exact pattern, I'll try to link it down below. Don't quote me because I always forget to do that type of stuff. Okay, so I just finished the little inner part, the first row. And I just decided to do 15 and I chained three in the beginning and that would count as 16 because there's 16 puffs that I counted. So obviously there would need to be 16 different spaces for the puffs to go in. So now that I did that, I'm just going to slip stitch to join two, which looks, I think it's three because it looks a little bit bigger. This looks about right. Right? This looks about right. And then I think I'm supposed to chain one in between each, chain two, it looks like two. So I think I'm supposed to chain two in between each puff stitch. And I believe I used a bigger hook last time, so. 
If you guys see my bowl behind there, I may or may not have warmed up my food in a pink bowl and then thought to myself, dang, I missed out on the chance to use my blue bowl. So I did not put the pink bowl inside the blue bowl and think you guys weren't gonna notice. So I may or may not have done that. So just, just a little FYI, yeah. Okay, so I just finished the second row of it and I think I did it right. So basically what I did was I made a magic ring. I put 15 double crochets inside the magic ring for the first round. And then um, for each space, I put a total of 16 puff stitches. And then for the puff stitch, you know, you wrap the yarn over three times. And um, you should have a total of seven strands of yarn like wrapped over the hook and then you pull both, you pull all seven through to make the puff. And that's kind of how I got this. If I remember the pattern correctly, if I did it, I'll try to put the pattern in the description. I don't want this video to be super long, so I'm gonna come back to you guys when I'm done making all of these, and then we're gonna start making the petals. So stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so after three days, I finally finished these two rows for the bag or for the granny square. Um, next, we have to make the petals and I have my yarn here. Okay, so this is what it's supposed to look like. I'm about to show you guys how to do it. So you wanna make a slip knot and you don't have to make this part too long. It doesn't really matter. And then you wanna find a space between the puff on the last row and just go in there and chain two real quick. And this chain two will count as one double crochet. So you wanna go ahead and do that. So that counts as one double crochet. And what you wanna do is kind of pretend like you're doing a double crochet, but don't finish it. So you're gonna yarn over and do a normal double crochet, pull through two. And normally for a double crochet, you'll pull through the other two, but you're not gonna do that. You're gonna keep those on the hook. You're gonna yarn over again and repeat that three more times. So we yarned over, we have it on the hook, and now we have three um, double crochets. And actually we're gonna repeat it one more time, just like this, pull through two, and then you have it on your hook. So now we have three um, double crochets and then the chain two that counts as a double crochet. So we have four total. And what you wanna do is literally yarn over and pull all of those through and then you're gonna chain two between each petal. So you're gonna repeat that again, yarn over, put it in between the puff stitch right here, pull through two, keep it on your hook, yarn over again, pull through two, keep it on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, keep it on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, and keep it on your hook and pull it all through, chain two, and literally you're gonna do this all the way around. You should have a total of 16 of these petals. And then at the end, you're gonna chain two and slip stitch to the first little space right here. It doesn't really matter if you do it in the stitch or the chain section. As long as you connect it with two chains, it'll be fine. So you wanna repeat this for all of your little circle things. I don't really know what to call these these i don't really know what to call them but you want to repeat this and have a total of 13 of them okay you guys so it is obviously day five um i made all of the petal part like the center part of the granny square and what i did was I knotted everything and then I burned it. So if you can look back here, this little like orange thing, even right here, I burned them to make sure they don't unravel. You can even see it even more here. So it won't be visible inside the bag because I'm gonna end up adding fabric to the inside of the bag. I add fabric to all of my bags. So yeah, that's what I did. I'm gonna um, now do the um, square part of the granny square. So I think I remember how to do it. She did the, and by she, I mean like the actual pattern. They used the, um, what's it called? The treble stitch to 
create the corners because the treble stitch is a longer stitch and it um, allows you to actually create the corners. I don't know if I'm making sense, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna do because that's how you do the corners. So I'm gonna chain three and then do the treble stitch as I'm doing like the corners. And you guys, if you do granny squares, you obviously know what the corners, you do three double crochets, chain two or chain three, and then do another three um, to create the corners. So yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I'm gonna come back and show you guys when the actual square is done, so stay tuned. Here's one granny square done, 12 more to go. Wish me luck. It is day seven, you guys, and I'm still not done with all of my squares. I only have four done. It's been seven days, come on. So yeah, I only have four done. I'm currently about to start my fifth one. And you guys may see this little row here and be like, how are you gonna finish all of the squares with this little tiny thing? But I have multiple of them, like I have a lot of them. I did one whole square, um, unraveled the yarn so I can have the exact length that um, I would need for each of the you know, circles that I need to turn into granny squares. And I feel like that's a smart thing to do because it's, I feel like it just speeds me up because I don't have to sit there and unravel the yarn as I go. So I'm gonna try to finish all these squares today. It is almost four o'clock, so hopefully I'll be done with them by the nighttime and then I can start assembling the bag. I don't want this video to be super, super long. Let me know if this video length is too long for you guys so I can never do it again but yeah i'm gonna finish doing these and i don't think i'm gonna film me connecting the squares because i already did that in my last video so if you guys want to see how to connect the squares check that video out and yeah so the next time you guys probably see me is probably me connecting the squares but i'm not gonna show you guys how I'm probably just gonna talk to you guys i'm gonna find something to talk about but if you don't see that oh well but yeah, let me let me go ahead and finish. You this. guys, I am finally, finally done making these squares, but I still have to sew them together, and that's gonna be another day. Well, I probably will finish that by today. To be honest, I might finish the bag by tomorrow. So because I have an assignment for school that I need to do, and it's due tomorrow, and I don't want to do it tomorrow, so I'm gonna do it today. But I'm gonna try to do as much of this bag as possible. It's almost 3 p.m. on a Thursday, no Wednesday. So yeah, this is my progress so far. Like you guys, the vision is coming to life. Like look at the squares and then look at the inspiration. Look at the squares and look at the inspiration. Like you cannot lie and tell me that these do not match, okay? I'm just so excited and I'm so glad that it came out how I wanted it to come out. And it's super dark today, so that's great. But yeah, this is where I'm at right now. Um, I know I keep saying the next time you see me, the next time you see me, but really the next time you see me is once the bag, once it actually looks like a bag, okay? Um, this is not a tutorial. This is really a crochet with me. See how long it really takes me to do certain things, like when it gets realistic with life and like I don't sit and crochet 24 hours a day. Um, yeah, this is where I'm at for eight days. Yes, I said day 10. Unfortunately, it has been 10 days since I started this bag. I promise it does not take me this long. It was just a slow week. Okay, next clip, the bag will be actually finished. Okay, you guys, so it is the next day. I am finally done with the bag. This is my little cousin. What's your name? Demia. She's trying to act shy. But yeah, this is the bag. Show them the bug. <laughs> Uh, I thought she put it over her neck. But yeah, this is the bag. It's super duper 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 cute. I love it so much. Look, it matches the package back there too. Don't pick it up their address. Oh, you're putting it inside? Oh, look, let's use, let's show the functionality of the bag. Emma, yeah, show the bag. Open it? Look, the, the package fits in there. No, I'm not gonna open it. That's for somebody else. Somebody bought some lip gloss. P.S. If you guys like lip gloss, go to my website. Girl, get out my bed. Yeah. Okay, anyways, that is the end of this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. She's putting more stuff in it. Um, thank you guys for watching. And if you guys want more videos like this, let me... Not the Vaseline. 
um, like this, let me know and comment below, like this video and share. Say bye. Say bye. Jamila. Can you say bye? Bye. Okay. Now put it all back.